Hey guys, there has been a ton, and when I mean a ton, I mean a lot of movement on MetaZoo, from pallets being put in the dumpster, to the bankruptcy lawsuit itself, to it being delayed because Mike Waddell does not have access to the books, the finances, so this company has been running for the last 90 days without any type of, you know, how much money do we owe? How much money are we receiving? They don't even know where all the assets are, which is the pallets of uh, how many pallets of stuff they have. And right before they had to do a auction for original art to pay money for Mike to hire a lawyer to go into bankruptcy. So we know Shaw apparently, according to Mike, has access to the books and he's refusing to turn over the password. Um, what is Shaw's actual, like, you know, like, what is he actually doing here? I don't I have any idea. Like, he doesn't seem to be, like, an owner. He doesn't seem to be an executive board member. It's just, like, a random dude they picked, gave him all the finances, gave him some pallets of stuff, right, to sell, and then said, you know what, good luck. And then they came back. Then Mike Waddell came back. There's been a huge amount of news on MetaZoo, and there's even on my side, I'm looking hard on it. I'm looking hard to buy it. So I don't think MetaZoo cards are investable, but I think MetaZoo, the company, maybe. You know, I think maybe it is investable. Uh, it's kind of interesting from the point of view of something where, you know, this thing was in Target, this thing was in Claire's, it was in uh, Walmart's everywhere. And this dude specifically was able to, Alpha Investment, was able to sell a shit ton. And according to himself, he's got a million dollars of now dead inventory. Now, Alpha Investments, his MetaZoo videos have largely, the positive ones at least, have still been deleted. So we have no idea. Um, you know, I, again, we have some type of idea. It's like Graham Stefan. He deleted his Yodo Bank, which is a huge scam because he doesn't want people to criticize him but deleting the video itself is uh, a you know it, it's a bad move because it will come back to bite you somebody probably has all these videos saved in a hard drive somewhere and some of the things i remember native i have screenshots of the titles native to a hundred dollars in a in a bear market uh, he was even till the very bitter end he was selling crown eaters that he himself drew so, but no, no announcement on MetaZoo, you know, there's been no update on it, and there's been no, I mean, will he ever update? It's a good question, guys. Is the homie ever going to update on MetaZoo? I mean, given his involvement, given his closeness and his ties to Mike Wardell, you'd think that he would know, like, some insider information. I mean, they were printing pallets or playmats of this dude. You know, the pallets of cards and playmats and, and all this. And he was giving them away so generously in his 6.9 boxes. And yet, not a whisper, not a word. Um, I find that a little bit strange, right? Because there has been a lot of breaking news in MetaZoo. Uh, Nick's strength in Pokemon has done a good job covering it. And even, even the bankruptcy, right? Like, what does Rudy think about the bankruptcy? Um, what does Rudy think about his current position? What is he going to do with his current position, right? Is he just going to hold it and hope for the best? Um, at the end of the day, you have a game that is in bankruptcy right now. And this is something that we could all learn and benefit from. I'm actually going to take, take a look at the Rudy promos and MetaZoo, uh, and see if it, the MetaZoo sales have obviously been down since, uh, they, they got Rudy promos everywhere. Crown Eaters, Rudy Crown Eater. 2023 fan art blister pack he's got the cave eater the nice metal the ufo play mat uh the santa claus right i mean there are a shit ton of promos eight lot 40 420 42 right rudy's number um there's a shit ton of things that he that people are trying to get offload and they're just not able to offload it I've made the announcement that if I do get my hands on MetaZoo, I will reprint every single Rudy card until it goes down to less than $10. Every Rudy card will be available for purchase for less than $10. We'll even make them all first edition. We'll make them black ink. We'll, we'll do some cool stuff with it, um, but we will own Rudy. 
I will own Rudy, and my first objective would be to print as many cards as humanly possible of this man. So he never forgets where he came up. Yeah, Rudy, met nice metal, uh, PSA Gem Mint 10, sold for $24.19 with $4.19 sh shipping. Four of these flesh, oh, flesh and blood and Meta Zoo playmats, Alpha Invent, Alpha Investment, Santa Rudy, only fifteen fifty for for playmat. Here's another playmat for ninety nine cents, with free ninety nine shipping. Another playmat for ninety nine cents. It looks like a lot of his playmats, the value is ninety nine cents with free ninety nine shipping. Here is a hunchback of Jacksonville pack fresh, for seven fifty on six bids, free ninety nine. Rudy totally not a Timmy pack fresh uh, 1940 49 and I think those are most recent yeah his most so he hasn't sold anything today um, pretty interesting sales on eBay really interesting 15 play mats sold for five dollars and fifty cents there are people with 15 play mats and it's all like the same play mat over and over again Here's a crown eater. So these things still have value because the Rudy's Red Crown Alpha Investments Near Mint sold for $34 with eight bids and free shipping. I'm going to print that card until it's worthless. Yeah, I, I swear to you guys that if I get hold of this IP, we're going to print. You know, right now the Rudy Nice Metal is only $2.25. We're going to print it until it's two two cents. Okay. That's how much of this stuff we're going to print. We are going to do mystery boxes, guys. We're going to do mystery boxes. We're going to do Alpha Investment 6.9 mystery boxes. And, we're, and all the mystery boxes will be will be a stack of these promos and play mats. Because apparently that's what people really want, right? So anyway, MetaZoo, the information is not good. It is... As a business, their connections to me is worth buying just for their connections. They have connections to Marvel. They have connections to Sanrio. They have connections to um, a lot of big, big names. And at the end of the day, um, holy shit, man, this is an interesting buy. Because there's two properties I love, the Hello Kitty part, the everything else, I'll let the uh, other partner. So I've spoken, and, and we're, we're, I think we're both very serious about buying this. And with our combined money, uh, this individual is also kind of wealthy. Um, with our combined money and assets, as long as I'm not buying like stupid, like I'm start, I'm stop buying stupid stuff now. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop buying dumb stuff now because um, it probably will take more than money than I expect to pump it into this game. But holy shit, it would be fun to have, right? For no other reason than uh, you got those alpha investment promos sitting there.